Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple pre-pull treatment that you can do every time that you have to wash your hair to minimize breakage, prevent hair loss, thinner hair, and essentially increase your hair growth. So I'll suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps. Now, before we get into it, guys, I just want to take a little moment just to wish a happy Easter to all of you, my brothers and sisters out there um, who actually do celebrate Easter. I do hope that you had a nice time celebrating today with friends, family. We had a great time at church today. So yeah, it was definitely great. So happy Easter to you all. Now let's get into the video. So to make this guys, you are going to need some freshly made aloe vera gel. Now I did not record me making aloe vera gel because I have so many videos where I show you guys how to make it. It is very, very simple. I will link some in my description box or you can go through my channel and you will most definitely see how to make it in case you don't know. It's very simple. But you can also use aloe vera gel from the store if you haven't got fresh aloe vera leaf. So essentially, after I use that, I'm now gonna go in with one of my DIY oils, but it's okay not to use a DIY oil, but I just thought because we're sitting around and I needed a type of people treatment that I will use it but if you don't have any it's fine to just use olive oil because it's great for your hair as well or let's say um, rapeseed oil or any other oil that you may have sitting around um, so I think I added about 14 tablespoons of this oil now you need to add a lot of oil essentially um, so after that guys, I'm now going to go in with a bit of castor oil as well. Now castor oil is great to use as part of a pre treatment because it helps a lot with thickening the hair and also adding slip. So really, really good to have in your pre treatment. So if you are making, let's say, a hot oil treatment, it's definitely worth adding a bit of castor oil as well. Um, yeah, it's just it's just really good. So essentially after that guys, I'm now going to go in with just a little bit of Honey, 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 honey. Honey is a natural humectant. So essentially this draws moisture from the air or atmosphere into your hair. So essentially it helps a lot with retaining moisture or giving your hair moisture. Now for this you're not going to need a lot, so just a teaspoon of this will be great. Aloe vera on its own is already very, very moisturizing, um, so you don't need a lot of honey. So essentially, after you've done that, that's it. It is very, very simple, just like you can see here. Very easy to make, um, but very, very effective when it comes to reducing hair loss and essentially minimizing breakage when you're washing your hair. Now I have some of you guys, my sisters, actually telling me that every time that you comb your hair, you get a lot of hair on the comb. Now it is quite normal to have some type of shedding um, because our hair sheds every single day. But if it's excessive shedding, then it's definitely abnormal. So there may be something that you're not quite doing right. So I would suggest that, you know, maybe you consider trying this out every time that you have to wash your hair to give your hair strength moisture and also minimize the chances of your hair breaking so after combining all of that guys that's it it is very simple so we're now going to proceed to applying this to our hair um, before we go ahead and shampoo it now the great thing about this pre pull treatment is that you do not necessarily have to detangle your hair um, in depth essentially um, just because it is super super moisturizing and it helps to loosen your curls as well so in this video I'm not going to detangle my hair just like you can see I literally just took down the twist that I had already um, just you know did a little bit of finger detangling not much you can see I still do have quite a lot of um, curls in my hair but don't worry when I wash this out you will definitely um, get to see what my hair looks like so it is really good at already loosening your curls so that when you go on to condition your hair and then detangle afterwards it is super super easy like your hair already feels really soft and then you're less likely to get excessive breakage or shedding so yeah it is 
really really good so essentially what you want to do obviously oil and water do not mix just like i showed you earlier guys the oil is sitting on top of the aloe vera but that's fine so you just want to make sure that as you are taking it and putting it on your hair that you try to mix it as much as you can so you have both the aloe vera and the oil um, going on your hair essentially so you want to apply it to your scalp the rest of your hair don't forget your ends because you know it's the driest and also the oldest part of your hair so essentially it's the part that's most likely to break so if you are trying to see length over time you need to baby your ends guys it is literally that important so essentially after i did that i'm just going to twist and then do a bantu knot so i can work on the next section without that part drying out and essentially i'm just going to repeat until the rest of my hair is done now if you're new in the natural hair community and you don't know what pre pooing actually means um pre pooing is basically a method that you can employ um, every time that you have to wash your hair to minimize breakage you know and just because it doesn't cause your hair to dry out as much now shampooing naturally strips your hair of its moisture and oils like it just gets your scalp nice and clean and your hair as well so in the process it will essentially dry your hair out but if you do have some type of people treatment that you do beforehand um, that will help keep the moisture in your strands and essentially can help a long way when it comes to the next step in your wash day such as deep conditioning and also detangling and styling so yeah really really good to have as part of your wash day routine so i hope that you guys go ahead and give this a try and let me know what you think of it now i've used aloe vera on its own in the past as a people treatment and it's just as good as using it in this way combined with oil and honey um so the choice is entirely yours guys but i would definitely suggest that you give this a go because it is definitely yeah it's just it's just amazing Now after I did that guys, I'm sorry I'm not going to show you how I do the rest of my hair just because otherwise the video would be very long. So after I did that I essentially just um, put a plastic bag on my hair and I let that sit on it for about 2 hours. I was just walking in the house doing my stuff and when it was time to wash essentially um, I just came to wash it. So um, some people pre put it overnight, it's fine to do that as well if you want you know added benefits but i think two hours is quite a good time as well um so essentially i'm just in the shower here just on doing the knots that i've that, that i did earlier um so essentially i'm just going to wet my hair just like you normally would do when you're washing it and then we'll be going in here with a shampoo now when it comes to shampoos guys there is no particular one that i use but I recently have been trying this shampoo. It's a ginger shampoo and I would say I like it. Um, I do not find that it tangles my hair or dries out my hair a lot um, after using it. But to be completely honest, I just pick whatever is available to be honest. Um, so most of the time I would usually gravitate towards Pantene. Um, I love the products or LV essentially. So I'll pick anyone that i like really and i would just go ahead and use it um but like i said yeah i've been loving this one recently so essentially i'm just gonna i'm just massaging my scalp here and then i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it and then you know move on to my um conditioning routine now unfortunately i'm not going to show you the whole process if you want to see a full wash day routine guys let me know in the comment section down below and i will be sure to deliver it um but it's very simple essentially so after this i'm just going to condition my hair and just go ahead and style um so but anyways let me know if you want to see a deep uh, sort of full wash day routine so this is what my hair looks like after shampooing so you can see already like it's so soft it is 
very very easy to detangle at this point like I barely have any knots in it and I did not detangle my hair prior to this so yeah it is really good so give this a go let me know what you think if you're not yet subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video and I'll catch you in my next one bye